Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Ones to watch, Team 2 obviously dropped yesterday and we had the first ever Foot Champions Finals competition. And I want to talk about how that is impacting the market because as we did expect, there was a nice rise a few hours after the promo yesterday and into the evening a little bit, but some stuff has started to drop off. As we are learning how weekends are going to be playing out from here on out through the rest of this year with the new changes to foot champions, the finals with the uh, finals, of course, having less games, people were even getting their rewards yesterday on Friday before the content drop since you know, they can get those games done. So I want to talk about how I think that is impacting the market and just again, why this market goes up and down, right? It's no longer just based off of, you know, it's a promo Friday. So everybody goes out, buys their teams, and then it's high on Saturday and then it drops on Sunday. People are getting their rewards instantaneously and that is impacting this market a lot. I want to talk about the content that we saw yesterday with the Wynaldum SBC, the players that are in packs and what that kind of told us and what we saw with that as well. But First things first, let's talk about wants to watch team number two that is in packs at the moment. Now, a couple interesting things. Yes, we saw Messi. Yes, we have Lukaku. Yes, we have Ramos, right? Those were cards that were already confirmed. We knew were most likely going to be in team two from the start. Now, Depay, Sabitzer, I think, were the only two cards that were released yesterday in packs that were quote unquote surprises, right? The whole rest of the team we had known about, whether it was through um, Instagram posts from Fabrizio Romano or other clubs posting on these cards, uh, like the PSG tweeting out Ramos and, and Lukaku being tweeted out and shown by EA Sports. So Depay and Sabitzer were the only surprises. And again, we're sitting here with no Sancho ones to watch cards. So some people are wondering, hey, is Sancho wants to watch going to be coming out on Sunday, tomorrow, of course, when we will have the mini release, right? Three more players will be coming into packs. Uh, Junior Firpo and that Paulinho card, right? Those are two items that we still don't have yet that were confirmed by Fabrizio. So I think one of those might be an SBC. One of those might be an objective, maybe, or they're both going to be released um, on Sunday with that secondary release. But I think apart from Lukaku, Messi, Depay, and, you know, Ramos maybe, and Tamori as well. I just feel like the second team of ones to watch is not as hyped as the first one, right? So we'll see, of course, if they were able to drop or are able to drop a Sancho on Sunday. That would, I think, help this team out a bit. But I feel like people were a little bit underwhelmed with the ones to watch content yesterday. More of the hype was just based around foot champions rewards. Now, we did get a decent SBC yesterday and decent by the regards that it is a kind of a higher quality player, right? Our other SBCs were Andre Silva. Taliska ended up being pretty nice, but the Wijnaldum SBC, I think is, you know, it is a decent looking card, but I think a lot of people are just unsure of how often this card is going to get upgraded. Besides the wins to watch upgrade, the plus one inform that he will get when PSG win five league games, is this card really going to get multiple upgrades throughout the year? Four-star, four-star, high, high, really, really nice links. You saw a lot of PSG cards rebound nicely because of this SBC. But this is coming in at 110,000 coins uh, right now with SBC fodder dropping yesterday after everything that happened with pack supply and with the Ronaldo SBC being so expensive. We'll talk about that a little bit too. Uh, I just think that with his gold card being like 6,000 coins or even less now, I just think that this live updating version of Wijnaldum is not necessarily worth it. I know some people are doing this SBC. Maybe you have some leftover fodder. But, uh, you know, if this card's on the market, it's no more than like 75K in my opinion. So I know that the links are very, very nice and the PSG links are fantastic and very usable. But I think for part of our content yesterday as well, I think this needed to be a little bit cheaper. Now, of course, we didn't have any objectives yesterday except for a um, like a, a gameplay objective where you could get some packs. So that was a, a semi-dub, but no new ones to watch content on that front. But we do we did have two player of the month. And of course, you've seen this, Cristiano Ronaldo, those player of the month 2.2 million coins 26 squads and it's only out for 13 days which is very interesting 
everything with this SBC just makes it look like EA really does not want you to do it. But of course, I know a lot of people are going to do it. It did drop the high tier meta part of the market. You saw a lot of icons and some like even Mbappe dropped off. If you take a look at the graphs, those cards started dropping off right when this Ronaldo was released because people went out and did that SBC. I think it's just too expensive for this stage of the game. A 92 Ronaldo, 26 squads. Just not, it's really not that big of an upgrade. I don't think it's worth it unless you are going to use that Ronaldo card like for the rest of the year. That would be the only reason I think it might be worth it in my opinion. But the best player of the month, the best value player of the month SBC we've had so far between the four that we've gotten has definitely been this Benzema. You know, he got a nice upgrade, 91 rated. If they could have given him 80 pace, this would be a full thumbs up green light. His inform was like 120,000 coins before this SBC came out. This SBC is priced right around 120K. If you want Benzema in your team and you're gonna use this type of player or this item for at least like a month or a couple months, you know, for a while in your ultimate team, I think this is a really decent SBC. I think it's decent value. It's priced just above where his inform was, and it's a better card than his inform. So I don't think that Benzema is bad value at all. I think that's a pretty solid one. And that was basically our content yesterday. Now, they did put out some promo packs, of course, 15K and 25,000 coin packs. I'm expecting today on Saturday for it to be just about the same. I will, maybe they do 12.5K packs and 15Ks or 12.5s and 25s. Maybe they throw 35K packs in here, but I would expect to see basically the same kind of promo packs we had yesterday, today on Saturday as well. And I don't know if there's as much hype for opening packs with Team 2 as there was in Team 1 for sure. So let's take a look at a couple of these ones to watch player prices again on the market. The only thing that I'm kind of interested in, I think Lukaku's price right now is very expensive. I think Lukaku is going to drop off. All these ones to watch it should get lower in price theoretically as we head out through this next week. Uh, Lukaku is very rare. Right now, Flippin shows him at 352,000 coins and he's actually 379. I know we have international uh, breaks games going on, so there's a couple more games than normal in quick succession for some of these cards. Um, but I think that uh, all of these ones to watch items are still going to drop down lower than what they are at the moment. Depay shows at 139. That is exactly his price. Messi is 1.9 million coins. Um, again, I, I just think that you're going to see these cards drop off in price throughout this next week before you'd see them go up. Actually, Messi is up right now at the moment. Uh, but again, this card's going to be very, very rare. So just keep an eye on those ones to watch. I do think they will go lower with more supply this weekend. And that makes me talk about and want to think about the rest of the market as well. Let's get into foot champs talk here. Let's get into what happened with the market yesterday. Because a lot of stuff, what you saw was you saw a lot of selling into the 6 p.m. content window and time frame. You saw a lot of these cards get low, right? And then you saw a nice rebound. But here we are again this evening and cards are back down. Now, some cards have bottomed out and they've started to rebound back up a little bit as I'm posting this a little bit uh, later than usual on a Saturday morning UK time heading into the day Saturday. Um, you, you, this Phil Foden was down at like 90,000 coins flat, right? This is a perfect example of what happened with cards yesterday on this game. So let's take a look at it, right? Hourly graph Friday, Phil Foden was 106,000 coins, dropped off into the content drop down to 96, got packed and went back up, right? He went down to the low 90s with pack supply. I believe he was popping up right around like 91, 92,000 coins, rebounded back to about 103, 104, Dropped all the way back down, as you can see. He was 89K, and right now he has bounced back up to 95. Now, again, we've seen this fluctuation recently a lot, but I think what it really is showing us about this weekend is with weekend league and not just happening randomly during the week, I think what this is showing us is there's so much hype placed on getting these weekend league dunes fast and how these rewards impact um, the game and how they impact the market since it is less games. And what a lot of people are doing is they are, they're not even playing the full 20 games. A lot of people are getting to eight wins and then they're quitting and giving wins for the rest because at eight wins, I think you get a team of the week pack or maybe it's 12 wins. I don't even know the reward structure quite yet. I haven't wrapped my head quite around it, but a lot of people get to that eight win threshold and they literally just start gifting wins so they can get their rewards, right? Cause once you finish your 20 games, then you get your rewards instantaneously. 
And people were doing that today, and they were getting their packs. They were playing their 20 games a week in league, getting their eight wins, opening their packs, and boom, they were done. And then again, you're done with the week in league, and your demand for having a team and playing games is over, right? It's not like, how am I going to space my games out on a Friday, Saturday, Sunday and play all 30 like it was in the years past? Now it's like, okay, if I'm really just getting to eight wins and I can get my rewards right away and my record isn't showing in the top left-hand screen of my foot account anymore, then I'm going to play to eight wins to my technically your gold three equivalent of last year, um, quit out of the rest of my games so that I get my rewards instantly, right? And then your demand for teams and having cards in your teams and trying out players, it's a lot more of a short-sighted window than it was before. And that's why when we look at a lot of graphs today and we look at a lot of card prices, what you're going to see is it's, it was a drop heading into the 6 p.m. content time. It was a rise after that as people went out and bought teams. And now as people are finishing their weekly again, stuff has dropped low into the Friday night into the early Saturday morning. Now, some of the stuff could go up, but I want to continue talking about that fluctuation, right? Hyunmin Sun, 570K heading into the day yesterday on Friday, dropped all the way down to 532, got pack supplied, was in the 520s for a, for a quick second, rebounded back up with demand. He was basically 570. He was 575,000 coins. I think Footbin caught a couple sales there. He went all the way back down to where he is right now at 539. He was even 515 for a hot second before rebounding back up. And again, that's with all of this and with the market being so, so supplied this year like it never has been before, you really just see that these periods of hype, it's all about these hype windows, it's panic windows and hype windows, right? Buying when everybody else is selling and then selling when everybody else is buying. KDB was down at 150K flat on snipes during the first hour of supply yesterday when the promo packs were released. He rebounded back to 170 and is now back down in the 160 range, uh, as you can see a little bit of a drop off on him. So you saw prices go down into 6 p.m. content, rise up for a couple hours afterwards, and then they've kind of gone down into the evening once again. Heroes were like literally a perfect example of how this happened. Morientes, I got a nice snipe on Morientes at 250,000 coins. He, he went down to about 270, rebounded up to 300K. I sold my Morientes at 317,000 coins, and now he is back down to 290 flat, right? A couple other examples. Um, we had the main man Milito, which I have one on my transfer list right now, still trying to sell. Milito's card went from like 250, 260 down to 220s. He was even there, rebounded back up to about 250 and was just about 229 like 15, 20 minutes ago. And now it looks like he's starting to rebound back up a little bit. So it's just these fluctuations and swings on the market based off of hype and based off of again, just like the hype of people wanting to, to buy cards because they're told that they're going to be cheapest at a certain time. So they go out and they buy cards during that time frame. Now, the only cards that are really not, uh, yeah, I guess you could say like conforming to this kind of, um, you know, state of the market is icons, right? If you look at a lot of like Roberto Carlos, I have a Roberto Carlos baby card that is on my transfer list at the moment. I bought him for 550,000 coins and I've got mine listed up at 600K overnight. There's a lot here at 600K. Uh, and a lot of these icons, they didn't really have that fluctuation, right? They are rare enough on this game that most of them stayed up in price after the panic today, right? Balak was down at 650, 645,000 coins. He's back up to right around 700,000. Uh, you take a look at a couple other of these cards. Where is like Petit, right? Petit is usually, uh, yesterday he was like 680. He rebounded back over 700. Well, there's a 675 kind of chilling right there, but you don't see as much of the swings on these icon cards. They hold their prices a little bit more. Yes, they do fluctuate and they're very profitable. Like this, this like this Hugo Sanchez is a great card to trade with. Rivaldo was down at 630K. What is he right now? He has risen back up to like the high 600s, right? So you did see a nice rise on your usable icons yesterday and you haven't seen them fall off, fall off like you did with some of the gold cards uh, and stuff like that. So that is just one of the things I wanted to talk about today. And, and that's just the way that EA is structuring this game too. With all of the crazy amounts of supply that we are seeing on this game is, you know, that is, that is making these levels and these periods of hype and these periods of panic selling um, just even more crazy. And with this supply, there's even more selling than there is buying at so many different times 
on the game today. I bought a gold sun for 259,000 coins. I sold them at 280 uh, because there was just panic selling, right? And then of course his gold card is out of packs, but still a very usable item. So we did go up in price. So again, what I'm saying is there were plenty of ways to make coins yesterday on the game. But as we head forward throughout the weekend, there's going to be even less weekend league demand, and you're going to have less of that pent-up buying power for buying teams to play the weekend league with. Since so many people are finishing their games in a new way this year, I honestly think that as we go through today on Saturday and tomorrow on Sunday, a lot of these gold cards, even though they are, again, meta, and a lot of people are getting coins to put them in their team, just the way that the market is this year, you're going to see them drop lower. Timo Werner. Again, just to wrap your head around how crazy these prices are, Timo Werner's card last year was over 200,000 coins. He is 20K. 20,000 coins is this Timo Werner right now on the market. It's literally insane. Yesterday, he went to 23K, dropped to 20, rebounded back up a little bit, and now he's at 18, 19,000 coins. It's just crazy to see these movements on the market. So if I'm being completely honest, what I'm really looking forward to seeing today, and I'm not like wanting it, but what I'm really expecting to see today, that's the better way to put it. I'm expecting to see more drops in price on the market because people are finishing their games. And again, these cards are price uh, supplied so much that they're probably just gonna continue going down. Take a look at Kempembe, right? With the Wijnaldum SBC that was dropped yesterday, this car was like 42K on Snipe, 41K on around the content drop, went all the way up to the high 40s, and look where he is now, down back into the low 40s where he kind of started the day. So it's a lot of just stuff went down, it rebounded for a quick couple hour period, and now it is back down again on the market, and especially for some of these cards, it's just gonna keep dropping lower, which seems crazy and outrageous, but that is the way that it is right now on this game. Now, a couple other things. Let's talk about SBC fodder because SBC fodder, um, and as we look at the index 100, you just see this, right? The constant supply is just pushing this market down lower and lower and lower. It's crazy. But the SBC cards are part of this because a lot of people, this, this drop right here, this huge drop off in price, so many people, and we talked about this multiple times, so many people were expecting a fodder and a market rise for these SBC cards when the Ronaldo Player of the Month came out. But A, it was over-invested because everybody was buying fodder for like a week or two before that SBC was coming out in preparation for it. And two, again, with all the supply that is on the market this year, you just see everything be so, so, so supplied that there's just no way these fodder cards were going to go up too much. That's why you see this big drop off because everybody thought fodder was going to go up when Ronaldo came out. So when Ronaldo came out, they listed their cards expecting it to go up and that just pushed the fodder price down lower. And again, with the pack supply, it just kept those lower tier SBC fodder cards in check and they're really not rising much. I don't expect SBC fodder to really take off at all in this game until we get some sort of repeatable SBC. It's got to be a repeatable, like either not, not even an icon pack, but some sort of repeatable SBC, like maybe a team of the week upgrade or ones to watch guaranteed, right? That could be if we see some pack added to the code, that kind of SBC would be the one if it's repeatable. Again, that would be something that we could see move the market on this game um, just because of the fact that uh, it's going to take something repeatable to make these cards go up, I think. just It's going to take a lot of demand to make this SBC fodder type stuff go up in price. So that's kind of the SBC fodder market. If you do want to do a club stock, again, a lot of this stuff just looks, it looks really cheap compared, compared to what we're used to. 84s are like 1,300 coins, 85s are 3K uh, after being a little bit higher yesterday in the hype. So if you want to club stock a few of these, get them on bid today during supply, during the promo packs, be my guest. Now, also, there was some mistakes that happened yesterday as well on FIFA. I don't know if you guys saw this or not, but people were actually, and I'm going to show you a tweet of this because I was seeing this on my own self on the companion app, EA messed up with the red items. And right now, if you're finishing the weekend league and you're not getting your items, it is because EA made these red player pick items tradable, right? And they messed it up. And so right now they have removed player picks from rewards until they've resolved the issue. And as of right now, they have not resolved the issue. So uh, if, you're, if you're finishing the weekend league and you're wondering where your red picks are at, it is actually because, and there goes my Roberto Carlos, GG, I will take the coins on that. Uh, it's actually because, uh, you know, they messed it up, right? So people were searching gold for champions items 
uh, on the market today and they're actually popping up now probably not too many are because nobody else is getting rewards and stuff but you could actually find some of the, the team of the week on the market today which was actually you know crazy in its own right so again what i'm expecting today on saturday is maybe another player sbc i feel like we had wijnaldum we had andre silva and taliska back-to-back days last week probably wijnaldum yesterday and some other player sbc today i think they might hold off on an objective um just because there's two still out at the moment we will see what they do with that um that was new pack objective today the prime play one if you want to get into the foot friendly modes you can get yourself uh four decent packs with a prime gold players pack being the last one if you want to grind that but what i honestly see today is more promo packs probably a little bit more supply and with less demand as a lot of people are finishing their weekend league games uh again and, and quitting out when they've reached the desired rank that they want to reach it's going to be another day of just playing it off the hype, right? If you want to try to trade with some cards on this game, I would seriously just continue to look at the hero cards because they are rare. Now, they did get packs applied yesterday, but they're rare enough that they still move around and there's still demand for them, right? There's still demand. Uh, Robbie Keane was like 550,000 coins. He rose up to 600,000. And what is he right now? He was just 580, but it looks like he's back to 600K. So these cards just fluctuate around a lot. So the rarity piece here is really, really good. But I would expect to see more dropping prices later into the day, especially on gold cards for a lot of these, uh, for a lot of the items that are on the market today on this Saturday. And again, I know, I know it's weird. I know it's crazy. I know it seems like EA is constantly making you like try to lose coins on this game with how they're fluct with how they're structuring things and how things are fluctuating, which is crazy. Uh, but that's just the way things are this year, right? And we need to adapt and um, just be ready for those fluctuations as they come and go, because that's just the way that EA is doing things this year. So we're gonna stay ahead of the game. Um, and again, prices are so cheap that if you bought like Timo Werner for your team at 22,000 coins, and now he's 19, it's kind of like, man, you really can't lose as much on some cards this year because they're so cheap to begin with. So you can think about it in a positive uh, in, in that route and that way as well but that was the content for yesterday and i just want to talk about again how i feel like the new foot champ structure is impacting the market and we're going to continue to see this throughout the rest of this weekend and into the next week and, and and weeks after as we see more people get acclimated into foot champs i mean remember this weekend with foot champs is probably only a slight population of the full game because a lot of people are still trying to get enough qualification points to get into the playoffs and then people are having issues even qualifying because the playoffs are pretty sweaty so there's a, a very small i think a, a smaller amount of people even playing foot champions this weekend in general so that's the video for today boys if you did enjoy make sure to smash your thumbs up comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new it's been nate the foot account and i'll catch you guys later peace out